Jesus said that I came into this world to give my peace to you abundantly. John chapter 14 and verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Peace is the need of the hour for this world. There is lack of peace within family members. There is no peace in between nations and in between tribes. Every day we can hear the news of war and conflicts in between the nations. There is no mutual understanding between the nations and there is lot of ego problems in between the nations. Due to this even a small issues are not resolved for many numbers of years. Still the enmity continues and often clashes occurred in between these groups. The world is eager for peace. The ordinary citizens of this world is standing for peace. They don't want war or calamity in their life. They want to live peaceful life with their family members. Our Lord is promising us to give a peaceful life. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 18. My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. Jesus Christ's teaching is centered on love. He came into this world as a token of love. He sacrificed his life on the cross was for the reconciliation of mankind with God. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind has stayed on you, because he trusts in you. When we trust on God and our mind is focused on the Lord then he will give his perfect peace in our minds. Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 22. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Peace is far for the wicked. So if we want peace in our lives, we must abstain from all the wicked ways from our lives. Then God will reward us with his peace. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 13. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. The very great blessings in our lives is when our children are having great peace amongst them. This thing will occur only when our children are taught by the Lord. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Only if God gives peace to his people, that peace only long lasting. When Jesus Christ came into this world as a child, this was the first greeting message to the people. Luke chapter 2 and verse 14. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So the eternal God took a form of man to give his peace and goodwill to his people. When we trust in our Lord and obey all his commandments then he will give his perfect peace to us. Verse of the day. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father. We praise your holy name. We thank you and worship you, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. As we discussed, peace only the need of the hour. Now the world needs peace, perfect peace. Dear Lord, please give peace between the leaders of the nations. Please unite their minds with peace. We don't want any war or cry in this world anymore. When you give peace, that will be the eternal peace. Pour out your spirit on your people and make them as ambassadors of peace to this world. Remove all the enmity and cruelty from the minds of the people. Fill them with your love and compassion with each other. We thank you for answering our prayer. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.